Hello. I took a little over a week off and stuff has happened. So what's up? Would you like to buy a castle? Me too. But it's too late for you, loser, because Samantha Kane, sorry, Lady Samantha Kane, already snatched it up. So there's this castle, it's called Carvisdale Castle. It's been pretty decrepit. It's got some water problems and whatnot. And it's been kind of sold a few times in the past handful of years. But Samantha Kane was like, hey, I want that castle. She saw that a pending deal had fallen through, booked a flight over there toward the castle and was like, here's my offer. And it was accepted. And so now she's Lady Kane of Carvisdale Castle. I'm legit jealous. That said, there's a lot of work that needs to be done. It's a bit of a fixer upper castle, you know? And so she's been working on renovations, making it not, you know, filled with water and making it livable. She literally lives there full time now. She's also looking into adding lodging on the premises, opening a distillery, making part of the castle be a museum, just generally trying to make it a neat space at her castle that she has. And I don't, I want a castle. I just feel like I'd be really good with a castle. I feel like just, you know, opening up the door to the, to the overlook and stepping on out and surveying my domain, it just feels natural. I feel like I should have that. I guess Minecraft is enough. India went to the moon on the south of it. Yeah, India landed a uh, lander, a um, lunar lander even, on the south pole of the lunar moon, the moon. India went to the South Pole of the moon. They were kind of in a bit of a race with Russia and Russia crashed into the moon, but India didn't. They landed it and they're, they're, they're happy about that and they're sending pictures back to earth. And that's pretty cool. Hasn't been done before. Well done, science people. You did really good. I want to go to the moon. Where's my castle on the moon? Also, the mission is more than just like landing there. They, they, they landed there and now they're going to do science there. But, but landing there was also a first and, a, and kind of a big deal, so. Snaps, I, I don't have a free hand, but snaps. Coups are all the rage right now. Gabon is, is following through. The military and Gabon has seized power from their president just moments after the election was called for their president. This was going to be the start of another term for their sitting president. The current president took over for his father in 2009 who was the president of the country since 1967. This one family has had essentially a 60 year rule over the country and citizens of the country aren't feeling it. The president is under house arrest from the military who says, fuck that guy. But the president was like, hey, take to the streets, citizens, make noise in my name. And the citizens took to the streets and they were like, yeah, fuck that guy. They did not quite make noise in his name so much as making noise against his name. But aside from the president whose family has been in power for 60 years, guess who else is upset about this? Did you guess France? That was easy. Yep, France is, France is upset about another coup happening in one of their former colonies. Weird how that keeps happening. Yeah, I guess it's right on the heels of the coup in Niger. And there's been a whole bunch of other coups in the region just since 2020. Like this is, this is kind of speeding up a bit, but weird. Maybe African countries should be owned by the people who live there. Which one of you climbed a dangerous mountain in Switzerland to steal $500? Come on, fess up. I know it was one of you. A climbing club in Switzerland that volunteers to maintain climbing routes among mountains and whatnot is flabbergasted because they have a donation box at the top of one of their hardest routes and someone stole money from it. Someone climbed up vertical ladders bolted into the side of a mountain and crossed gaps on thin wires and did some real mountaineering just to get to this box, smash it open and steal like $500. Although the equivalent of $500 in Swiss francs, but, but, but still that's not, who does that? And specifically a donation box too. Like this is a donation box for the people who maintain this trail. And so the, the club members are just kind of like sad about this. But just like, who, who does that? Why? There's so much easier stuff to steal. Like to steal literally anything else. You heard it here first folks, steal literally anything else. On this day in 1791, the HMS Pandora ran aground off the Great Barrier Reef. They, they, they wrecked badly. The ship was carrying a bunch of prisoners because they were sent after the HMS Bounty to find the famous mutineers from said ship. They did it. Uh, and then they crashed. Notably, aside from you should go read about the HMS Bounty because that story is wild, uh, the HMS Pandora was part of the porcupine class of ships. I just think that's pretty cute. Lightning round. A man in Tennessee was arrested and charged with handling controlled substances after leaking and selling copies of the upcoming Starfield game. Polling shows that most Americans think Joe Biden is way too freaking old for another term. X, formerly Twitter, has fallen down the rankings in the app store because no one knows what the hell X is. 
Meanwhile, Twitter Lite, which is an app that was specifically made for emerging markets, which is to say places that have poor bandwidth and whatnot, is rising the ranks because it's still called Twitter Lite. And so people search for Twitter and they find that and no one knows what the hell X is. The dude who was the head of the Wagner group, the, the group that did a like almost coup against Putin, but then called it off. He got, he's dead, almost definitely assassinated. He, it was, he was in a plane, the plane crashed, almost definitely assassinated. Dropbox had to get rid of their unlimited tier because a bunch of crypto bros were abusing it. Remember Joe the plumber? He died. 3M is going to pay out $5.5 billion to settle lawsuits over earplugs they made for like military purposes that didn't work. And finally for today, Eminem has had to reach out to Vivek Ramaswamy to ask his campaign to fucking stop using his music. Not even just using his music, but Ramaswamy like performed an Eminem song. And, and Eminem is like, what the hell? Stop, stop that. Oh, and tonight, Wednesday, August 30th, there's going to be a blue super moon. So, Watch the sky. Thank you so much for listening to today's episode of Stuff Keeps Happening. Head to stuffkeepshappening.online for sources, bonus content, and the sky that you should watch. My name is Endeavorance. I'll be back on Friday. Take care and be well.